We do it, we see it, we read about it, we buy into it. What am I talking about? Running, of course. There have been so many famous running moments over the years that we wanted to watch them back over and talk about them. Manny, I don't even think I've seen half of these. Yep, we have some running fails, memorable moments, and amazing running stories. So if you want to cry about it, laugh about them, or even just learn about them, stay tuned, because we've got them all. Before we dive into the clips, do help us out. Click subscribe, hit that bell icon, and get notified when we release new videos all about running. Let's do this. First up, you're saying Bolt versus the Segway. Yep. I think I've seen this. I've seen this too. Here we go. Oh! <laughs> He's yes. all right. He's yes. all right. He's all right. I've seen it, but I can't, I remember it. Mate, I cannot believe he got up so easily. He just won, I think, the most gold medals in an Olympics. It's the adrenaline. Point. The yeah. adrenaline just kind of got him up. It's what happened to that fella? I'm not sure. I Do think, you reckon he, I think he was taken off on a, on a Did stretcher. he work the next day? <laughs> <laughs> Did he keep his job, that fella? <laughs> Imagine. And Usain Bolt might have a race the next day and you're the guy who's responsible for him not running Imagine, the next oh my, race. Imagine if it wasn't his last race. And you took him out. Hey, and the Segway driver, like he's probably like dreamed, he's probably just kind of like, you know, I don't know, maybe he was a student on his summer holidays and thought, <laughs> oh, you know what, I've decent, got a decent job here. I'm going to do Segway at the Olympics. The same bolts running tonight. Oh, bang him. Awesome. Yeah. And then the rest of your life, you're just known as the guy who took out the same bolt. Yeah, literally. He might have been going on to be a combustion space physicist. <laughs> I'm not sure where that came from, he, but... He might have. Listen, listen. He's just the guy who took out the same bolt. Just as a, a nice aside here, Andy, Andy Badley, Olympian of Running Channel fame, once took out a very famous runner in a race and was hated by most of Australia. Do go back and watch it. Let's hope it's in these clips, shall we? Okay. Anyway, <laughs> should we do the next one? I think we should. Let's go. Okay, so the next one is Matt Reese at the London Marathon. Yes, I know this one. Do you know this one? Mm. That's oh, a memorable. Yeah. That, that's a very memorable corner for me. Have you run London Marathon? Yeah. 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 You you know that corner? Last one. Last one. Just past Buckingham Palace. That's it. Yeah. Oof. Your legs start to seize up. And oh, this the guy. Poor fella. This guy oh, yes. is. Yeah. yeah, you remember this. Twenty nineteen. Yes. Yeah, 2019. 2019. I actually ran that marathon. I might be in this clip. There you are, Manny. <laughs> I'm not in this clip, but this I remember this. This is incredible. It's unbelievable. This is literally incredible. It goes on for a And while. that guy who's just picked him up, like he's going for a time because they're fast as well at this point. Yeah, 2.45, so yeah. It was, from the, it was a Swansea Harrier. Yeah, yeah. These guys were so fast and then the crowd are just beginning to notice what's going on. You can see like the concern on people's faces. Yeah. I've been there. Jelly legs. That is commitment though, you know, to stop. You know, it's actually, to stop and just like yeah. help somebody out. Would you stop? No. <laughs> I knew you didn't say that. I was, just, not, I was just behind these guys. This is incredible. You know what though, it is actually quite emotional to watch. Yeah. Like it's, yeah, it's but I think everyone's like a little bit more emotional 2021 anyway, but this yeah. is actually quite emotional to watch. It's like a little bit of hope, right? Yeah. All right, so how good would you feel after supporting somebody? I mean, that guy's a legend, isn't he? Yeah, it? yeah, he's great. Yeah. Absolutely great. And I'd be so grateful if I was the guy in the Charlton yeah. Charlton vest. It would be like... I remember him being, the two of them being on every single yeah. morning TV show afterwards, yeah. talking about how it happened. Because yeah. they were both really fast runners. So you're looking at some of the best runners here. They were really at the front of the field. And for him to stop as he got round that corner and actually, you know, he's going for it, he probably had a time, he probably had a name and how he was going to finish. And he got to the very end and he saw this guy wobbling and it was him who decided to stop. Yeah. I, I mean, the guy's got heart, hasn't he? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I think also, like, the guy was falling and he, he stayed on the floor for quite, mm. for quite some time. And to, to have the commitment to keep going back and just keep trying to help, that was really, really strong, really good and really, like, yeah just showed like, you know, human nature prevailing and that's a marathon moment for me, you know. Right, shows favorite. what the marathon, yeah. The no, marathon's agree, like mate. really pure, brings like 
the best out in people sometimes and I think yeah that was a really nice thing to see but as we as we just found out Rick wouldn't wouldn't stop for people but um you know it's just one of these things you're not going to get that medal my friend I might now but we're going to edit that bit out so it's fine <laughs> Ah, Joshua Chapter guy, a fellow Ugandan, just like me. Joshua Chapter guy at the 2017 World Cross Country Championships. Whoa, okay. This is in Uganda, by the way. It's the first one that's ever held in Uganda, World Cross Country Championships. Oh, whoa. Whoa. That's tough. Whoa. He was in the lead, by the way. That tape ain't gonna help. Right, you're gonna have to fill me in. What is going on here? So, Joshua Chapter guy, he's running the World Cross Country Championships in Uganda. He's excited. We're in the lead. He's like, I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna finish this race strong and hard. But he went out a little bit too hard and this is what happened is this near the end then this is near the end he does cross the finish line but uganda do not win these championships so he's leaning back what he's dehydrated his mind's gone i think yeah his energy system he's just burnt shutting out. down he's, just, he's losing his balance he's just not with it it was a very very tough tough situation for him and really tough and, and this is the first time the world cross country championships have taken place in, in uganda, uganda. Wow. So Gutting. the pressure was on. The pressure was on. And, and yeah, he bombed. Unfortunately, yeah. he ah, did. Unfortunately, he, he really went for it. And I guess he got his race car wrong on that day. Was but it hot? Was it super hot that day? It's Africa. So, it's the it's equator. Hot. It's, it's hot. gonna be it's hot, hot, right? It's hot. It's hot. Yeah. But I think it's the excitement of the event got to him. Yeah. But we all know Joshua Chapter guy now, don't we? Yeah. So. And what that teaches us, I think all of us is, you can have bad days, you can have bad races, you can yeah. have a bad race in front of everybody, the whole world, your whole family are looking, yeah. everyone's watching. Because he was in the newspaper the next day and everybody talked about it in the country mm. and you know there was, was a little bit of a laugh. Really? There was a little bit of like, oh, that's that guy. Yeah. He, uh, he, didn't, yeah. he didn't do very well, he, he, was, he was first, but it didn't work out very well. Mm. And yeah. he has risen from that. So guys, when you're at home, and you go out for a bad run, or you're having a difficult training period, have a think about Joshua and what he had to go through after 2017. And what is he now? Yeah. Record holder, over 5K. Manny, World you can holder. have bad days, you can have bad weeks, you can even have bad months, as long as you get back on the saddle, eh? There you go, get back on your feet. It's called bounce back ability, let's yes. go. Ooh, you, you I know this one, do you know it? Derek Redman, hamstring tear, 1992 Olympic Games. This is, this is a memorable moment. This is Barcelona. Moment. Let's go. You can tell by the TV, can't you? Yeah. Like the picture, no widescreen. That kit though. I the like old 16 by well. four. Is that what it's called, 16 by four? Is that what it's called? Showing my youth there. There you go. Ooh. Hang on, when did this happen? Is he mid-race? Um, he is mid-race, yeah. I think, it, I think it was the fourth. Yes, I remember this. I remember this. Yeah. I love that kit, by the way. Yeah, I absolutely love that kit. The kit was cool. Derek Redman's father. Yeah. Oh my gosh. So he came onto the track? Yep. Yes, yes, yes. Manny, this is just another one of those moments, isn't it? That you just look on and you kind of go, wow, special. You can be there. Just really like commitment, passion. You know, that's what, that's what I love about running, yeah. you know? Everyone always talks back as Barcelona is kind of like one of the big Olympic games, that like really successful ones where lots of records changed mm. and you know, there was just a lot going on at that Olympic games. Mm. And it seems like, and that was one of the moments that kind of brought it into fruition, wasn't it? Yeah, it's really poignant. And yeah, for him to just get across the line with his dad, it's, the power of sport, right? Yeah. That's what we love. That's ace, mate. What I would say, his left ankle's taped. That makes me wonder, physio eye, you see, physio eye. Mm. So if he's carrying an injury on his left side, but he's got a hamstring tear on his right side, he's, it changes the way you run. Yeah. So if you have an injury, 
go get it checked out. Don't just keep running. Mm. Go get it checked out because it can affect you in different ways, okay? Um, it's balance might be enough. Balance. It's all about balance, isn't it? 100%. Keeping it equal. <laughs> Keeping it equal. There you go. Rick's trying to take my I job. I tap him me. up on my days off. I tell you. <laughs> He's my, he's my regular Sunday lunchtime call. He's not I'm lying. I'm not actually joking. He's not lying. Uh, <laughs> no, it's all it's always missed call. <laughs> Rick again. Invoices emailed straight to him. <laughs> right, let's go. Next up, it's Kathy Freeman, the 400 meter gold at the Sydney Olympic Games. This is ringing bells already. The suit, do you remember the, the suit? suit? The suit, the suit. Didn't they ban the suits afterwards? Yeah, I think, I think that- They said it might give an advantage. Aerodynamics, yeah, there were definitely some thoughts about that. Wow. They've gone widescreen, gone widescreen. <laughs> 2000. 2000, <laughs> gone widescreen. Here we go. Wow. Just looks fierce. Look at look at she's looks so fierce. fierce. Not messing. Not panicking. Power. Quick the look. Kick. To, quick look. Look the to kick. the left. The kick. Oh, Here we look go. Look at that. Look at that kick. So Ooh. good. Oh my gosh. Still gives me goosebumps that one. That is incredible. And you know, afterwards she's just got game face on yeah. still. So no messing around. Yeah. Still completely focused. She's about her business. Yeah. About her business. Is that one of your favourite Olympic moments? I think that's got to be definitely one of. It's got to be up there. I mean, Usain Bolt's the first one we watched. Just <laughs> so yeah, I mean, yeah. But Kathy Freeman, first Aborigine woman to win an Australian gold medal. Really? Yeah. Did she compete in anything else in that Olympic Games? I think she did. I can't I remember. Did, yeah, I think yeah. she did. I think she may have com competed in um, two hundred as well. But Absolute yeah, clip. unbelievable. Great. Love that one. Oh, you're joking me! <laughs> you're actually taking the mick. We have not put this in. Well, I do know what this is. I basically just used to, at really unfortunate times of day and night wake people up to go and watch Andy run. Did you? Wherever we, yeah, <laughs> wherever we were. I, like, I go to a sports bar in the middle of Covent Garden mm. as a student, and like, everyone would be like, oh, can we have the American football on? Can we have the Arsenal-Chelsea game on? Wait, lads! And I just went, um, can we pop on the Commonwealth Games in the corner, please? My friend Andy's running. <laughs> You do know yeah, this, Andy yeah. Badley, 2006 yeah. Commonwealth Games final. Let's go. I know all his races. He sends me them regularly <laughs> just to keep watching. It's part of your contract. You, you kind of think, mm, it's been a few years. Get down off your horse, maybe. Spicy. Yeah, yeah, I was his captain once. <laughs> there he is. Look at him. God, he's like Benjamin Button. <laughs> He's aged in reverse. Game face. Andy, look at that. Andy, you've got a game face. You ain't messing, look. I think he looked he through is. the camera there. Oh, I can't believe we're doing Steady. this. Look at that. Here it goes. Is he going to take out the favourite? There he is. Oh, oh, there we go. There we go. Australia hates me. Oh. That's, not, that's not his fault. He's get, he gets clipped from behind. Mm, yeah, but then yeah, he, he does. took he out the favourite, took out the favourite, and then... Andy, you got clipped from behind, I can see And then see the it. abuse came, look at this, I can see here we go, Andy. look at this. He was boxed in, he got boxed in. Oh, oh. oh. Do you know what though, seriously. That's tough. That is tough. Oh, look at, look at the, oh he got back up. Oh, mate, you know what? That's tough. I, I can't, I can joke about it, but genuinely, I just remember being a student watching that and just going, oh my goodness. Yeah. This, I just felt so gutted for him. Yeah. Because uh, he trained so hard and he was in absolute peak flying physical condition. I mean, he was the edge at that point. Uh, he Where had shot? hardly any fat. <laughs> like, literally, he was, you know, he'd walk past you and the wind would move. <laughs> uh, there was no wind. There was no wind. He was skipping for he, rain. He was literally <laughs> skipping for Britain. And I was we were absolutely gutted for him. Mm. And like, when we did get back, like, we were all kind of just kind of like ribbing him about it, but just to get him up because he was just 
that was going to be one of his races. Yeah. yeah. I know yeah. that was a, like really, really early on in his career, but like it, it was tough it's for him. Tough to take. It was tough for him, yeah. But Andy, you got clipped. Just got to put that fact out there. He got clipped from behind. Next up, it is Vondeli de Lima in the Olympic Marathon of 2004. Manny, do you want to know my Olympic knowledge? Okay. Okay. Let's hear. 2020 didn't happen, so no location. 2016, Brazil, Rio. 2012, oh, okay. UK, London. Boom. 2008, Beijing, China. Wow. 2004, Is he gonna do this? Athens, Greece. Oh, nice, yeah. 2000, Sydney, Australia. Yeah, did you see that, yeah. 1996, Atlanta, USA. 1992, Barcelona, Spain. 1988. You stop there. He's done, he's all out. I love LA, I think it was LA. You think it was LA? I think it was LA. Okay. I think it was LA. We need to check that one. Yeah. That was good. Uh, thanks, like mate. That. thanks, That was good. Mate. Thanks, mate. Oh. Let's go. Okay, what's going on here? <gasps> oh, what? No, no way. way. What's happening? No way. This is unbelievable. That is awful. I can't believe that. I've never seen that before. I don't think I've seen that. So he was, what, he was probably leading, was he? Or he was certainly doing well. And then some Muppet comes on, takes him out into the crowd, and then some people take him out, and then he gets back on and starts running again. That's ridiculous. Look at the despair. Oh, I'd be no. like that as well. I'd be, you know what, I'd now, be really gutted. Now, now I'm watching it because the guy's not actually that big, but he is just in his stride in yeah. any excess energy when you're in your stride. Yeah. It's just, and he just can't use that excess energy to fight him off. That is absolutely awful. Just taken out sideways. I have never seen that clip. Right. You should let us know if you've seen that one. Yeah. You can see now why they have motorbikes. I always wonder, there's always motorbikes when marathon runners are running, like quite close to them. I'm like, <laughs> you're pretty close to me. But <laughs> now it makes sense. Yeah, Those motorbikes are probably useful. Next up. Iliad Kipchoge sub two hour marathon, Vienna, 2019. Yeah. I mean, if you've not seen this, and you're here at the running channel, <laughs> we are doing you a service. <laughs> we are helping you on your running journey. If you have seen it, let's just watch it again. Such great motion. Let's go, I'm excited for this one. Okay, can I just say, I can't believe that is 2019. I know. It feels like, well, quite a lot happened afterwards. Yes. <laughs> that is 2019. I can remember watching it on my iPad, on my kitchen table. I even remember what type of flowers were in the vase while I was watching it behind it. Two red tulips and some daffs. The attention to detail. Yeah. Your brain, it works in an unbelievable way. Wow. That's... Some would say it's quite wrong. <laughs> Next up. <laughs> Let's please press play, please. By the way, I went to the first attempt of Ilya Kipchoge trying to break two hours in Monza in Italy. It was incredible. Really? Yeah. I didn't know there was a first attempt. There was? Hmm? Yeah. This was in a park in Vienna. And it was, it was about October, November, I think. I'm looking at the trees. Mm, yeah, yeah, so it's probably October, October yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, this is incredible. So this is, yeah. Yeah, it was amazing. I remember this so clearly. Yeah, so good. And the way the paces just came in and out. Yeah. Here we go. And this is it. Kim just perpetual motion, just ticking along. I can't get over how so fast good. he is running for two hours. How fast? It's unbelievable. Having done that speed on a treadmill for, you know, 10, 20 seconds. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. I love it. He was so humble afterwards, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So humble. So are you tired? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> his wife. Oh, it's amazing. So amazing. He just looks so 
Just so like so happy, but so eff- not so effortless. It's like so- look at him just <laughs> running. He running. doesn't look that knackered. No, unreal. Hey, is he out of breath? I remember it was a Saturday morning, where, and everyone was just kind of glued to watching this, thinking, "Is this actually going to come off?" Yeah. And then it came off, and then it was the only thing that anybody was talking about for days, wasn't it? It's unreal. Yeah. Mate, saying that, I do work for the running channel, so you'd expect. <laughs> <laughs> we will talk about running. Yeah, we we're, were talking about the cricket. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> incredible though, wasn't it? Literally yeah. incredible. Unreal. I think like it's one of those things that people will remember and it, mm. it it gives you that kind of for me it gives me motivation. No human yeah. limited. <laughs> man, is that also one of those moments where it's kind of like almost, you know, a man on the moon moment where humans do something which is subhuman and it's one of those markers for yeah. what human beings can do. Yeah. And certainly in sports, <laughs> that's one of the sporting moments that goes into that kind of sphere. Change the game, mm. that's what I like to say. Change the game. Just the mindset of, actually, I'm gonna do it today. Yeah. You know, he's just like, oh, I'm gonna do it. Um, so yeah, the mind's a powerful thing. What are you gonna do? I heard you're gonna do something special soon. Yeah, yeah. You've got a few, yeah. a few things lined up. Don't want to commit to it yet, just in case it goes wrong. But yeah, sub something yes. for 5K. I'm excited. Yeah. I'm excited. Yeah, I'll be on your physio table a there lot in the go. coming months. What a great one to end on. Yeah, definitely. I love those moments. Really good clips. Thanks for coming with us on that journey through running moments. I really do feel like we've seen it all now. No, Rick. There's always more running moments. If you feel that there are running moments we should react to, please comment below. And we'll see you next time on The Running Channel. Goodbye.